unbelievable tension in Tinubu's camp as one of the campaign members resigned gives shocking reasons why he had to quit the top job at APC. Being a campaign member is like being a delegate. Remember that year for delegates now when they were, you know, uh, voting. Delegates are those who, de who determine your faith if you will get the presidential ticket and all that. Campaign members are very, very critical to, you know, D DOC. Very important to a campaign to any presidential candidate in any uh, party. These are people who are doing the grassroots work, you know, going around and making sure that all is done decently and in order. My dear, shocking news. Tinubu is losing some of his vital members or campaign members, and this is causing a lot of, you know, tension in the party. But what could be the reason for this? This is where critical matters are being revealed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Top APC campaign members resign gives reasons. Zina Bako, a member of the All Progressive Congress Campaign Council, has resigned from the party and the Presidential Campaign Council, PCC. Politics Nigeria reports that in a recent letter addressed to James Falaki, Secretary, Presidential Campaign Council of APC, the Bernou Bone politician said one of the reasons for his exit from the APC is because of the inability of the party to present a credible candidate for Nigerians. My resignation applies to all APC, all APC presidential campaign council group and all other APC support group that is campaigning for His Excellency Ashiwaju Ahmed Bolatinobu and Kashim Shatima in the presidential election. I have been a loyal member from 20, 2015 to date with numerous contributions to the party, especially in 2019 presidential campaign. I am grateful to inform my former party and principal for my application as for my application, my appointment as a member of the committee, but I believe that national interest supersedes my personal interest, book says. I cannot allow what is currently going on. My conscience telling me this is absolutely wrong every single day. Trying to quiet it will mean me doing the wrong thing for myself, for my nation, and for the people around me. Currently, I am not in support of what APC stands for, especially with the presidential candidate that they have to present to the nation. I cannot sit back and allow such things to happen. If nobody will tell the truth, I know that my conscience will not lie to me. These are very critical days, and I will not want to be a contributing factor to what will be destroy Nigeria and break the trust of the people. Many of us have been looked upon for truth to be revealed, especially those of us in politics. I do not want to break the trust of the people. I do not want to bring the people to a position where they can no longer be able to lift up their heads. These are very difficult decisions for me, but I have to make it in the interest of all. So my wonderful people, this is what is happening. The gentleman has come out to say that I'm not, I'm not comfortable, okay? I am seriously and sincerely not comfortable with the way things are with APC. Hence, I need to say the truth, and I need to say it as I feel it, that the issue right here on ground do not uh, quite uh, line up with my values, and I do not see a reason why I should stay in a place uh, uh, that does not uh, support my value and that does not, uh, you know, reveal to me what exactly, you know, uh, our, my input or what we need to do. So these are very critical matters and every single one of us must begin to understand that we can actually and sincerely make a difference in all of this. So there is need, urgent need for every single person to begin to understand Okay, that, you know, people know the truth, especially with the Muslim Muslim tickets, you know, of APC. It does not quite go well with a lot of people. You know, some feel Tinubu had a choice. He chose to do what he's doing now. 
he had an opportunity to make a difference. He had, I mean, it was his choice to, to pick whichever candidate he deemed fit. But whoever he has picked is because he feels that Nigerians have no say in the matter. Do you get me here? Yeah. So he feels that whoever he has picked, so it is. Uh, there is no, there's nothing that could possibly change. And um, he has just made up his mind. So whatever he gets is what he will get out of it because the truth of the matter lies is that Nigerians, you know, are the ones to determine who will become the president by their vote. And so we must become very careful of who we are voting for because whatever happens, we will live with the consequences of whichever candidate we have picked upon to become our leader. We will live with it. We will definitely live with it. We will definitely. So what exactly is going on? And why do we, you know, why do we all just sit back and do not really, and we really do nothing about it? Okay. When we should have, when we should have stood together and condemn and speak against everything and anything that does not reflect our values, that does not say the truth or gets us into, you know, the right, the right perspective. As it stands today, there are all kinds of questions ongoing and every single person must begin to understand that, you know, Nigeria is, uh, is not just a, a society that you say is predominantly Christian or predominantly Muslim and so or uh, traditional worshippers as the case may be. So and so if you want to do something to have to make everybody feel part of it, there must be a balance. In the, in the nation, there must be a balance. But when you stubbornly, even being advised, being talked to and everything, and you say, you know what, I will have my way, I will shove it down their truth, they've got no choice. Oh, you'll be surprised to know that the people actually have a choice. The elections are right around the corner and every single one of us will be determinant of what will happen going forward. Every single one of us will be determinant of what will happen going forward. So we must become very careful. We must become very, very, you know, observant. And we must be ready to ensure that we do what is right and needed and necessary in order for us, okay, to have, you know, to have the, to have all that we need to, we need to do. You know, it, it is, it is, a, it is a call for urgent attention and cannot be overemphasized or underestimated. We must all become very, very, you know, conversant of the choices we are making because the days upon us are days where truth must become part of our day. Bye for now.